lifeboat operation and survival practices, an in-depth introduction and orientation to your primary means of escape in a platform, rig, or shipboard emergency. In the majority of emergency situations, the lifeboat is the most frequently used means of escape from an offshore oil installation or ship. It may be referred to as a life capsule, a survival craft, as well as a totally enclosed motor-propelled survival craft, or TEMPS for short. For the rest of this program, we will usually refer to it simply as a lifeboat. There are several manufacturers and types of lifeboats used all over the world. However, once in the water, they operate under the same basic procedures. The biggest differences lie in the boat's launching systems, which are made up of three main types, the single wire, double wire, and the big splash of a free fall system. Now, for the purposes of this video, we will only briefly identify some of the more popular davit, winch, and releasing mechanisms used in the launching of lifeboats on offshore installations and ships. Although each installation may differ in the number of wires, also called falls, lines, and cables, which are used to lower survival craft, they all utilize davits to hold the lifeboat in place and to use as a means of lowering the craft over the side, a winch to recover the lifeboat, and a releasing mechanism to release the falls from the boat, allowing the lifeboat to escape. Launch systems come in three basic types. Shown here, we're looking at a Harting lifeboat, utilizing a free fall method of launching, which allows the full complement of personnel on board to release quickly and fall into the sea. Davits are required to raise and lower just about any type of lifeboat found aboard offshore installations and ships. A widely used launch system on ships with totally enclosed lifeboats is the Miranda Gravity Davit, which, when activated, lowers a cradle along inclined trackways into the water. Release mechanisms fall under two categories. The first is an onload release, which, when activated, will release the craft at any time, whether it is in the water or still dangling in the air. The second releasing system was designed to avert any potential accidents caused by premature release. The offload releasing mechanism is safer because the hooks will not release until the weight has been taken off the cable as the boat enters the water. Since the releasing mechanism is the key to a speedy and successful launch, crew members should be instructed and trained on all types of releasing mechanisms found at their installation or ship. The lifeboat commander, also known as the coxswain, is a crew member who has been thoroughly trained on the launching and operation of the lifeboat. He should make it clear that he is in command and that his orders are to be followed to the letter. The handling of the survival craft once in open seas requires expert seamanship by the lifeboat commander. Upon approaching and transferring to another vessel, the captain of the rescue vessel and the lifeboat commander must coordinate all efforts in order to minimize miscommunication and assure success. If a helicopter rescue is attempted, you should try to make radio contact with the aircraft. The position of lifeboat commander is a great responsibility. It is for this reason that the lifeboat commander should be well trained for his position, including knowledge of the boat's systems, skilled in handling the craft, and ability to plan for the worst, including weather, fire, injuries, and equipment failure. It is also important for all personnel working on ships and offshore installations to be trained in lifeboat operations by qualified instructors to ensure an orderly, panic-free abandonment and be able to fill in if the lifeboat commander is missing or injured. Your skills and positive mental state will enable you to more effectively work to save your own life as well as those around you.